Hi guys, welcome to this week's video tutorial. Uh, today we're going to go back to AutoCAD. We had a question about how to export your drawings to PDF ready for your submission. Now AutoCAD likes to do everything by plotting. So you're essentially going to print to PDF and that's the way you save it. So today we're going to have a look at getting our drawing into the paper space and then having multiple drawings on the sheet, getting your line weights ready to go and then eventually exporting it out to PDF. Nice and quick tutorial and hopefully it will get you right where you need to be for your submission. Okay, let's get started. So I've got my drawing here ready to go and I want to print it off so that I can have a look at it in PDF and make sure everything's going well. I've started a new layout over here and you can go right click new layout on any of these tabs will bring you a new layout. So I've got my new layout here. Now, I don't like to use this um, viewport that automatically comes with AutoCAD because it's a bit cumbersome and it's got some random things going on. So I go viewports, I type that in, and that will bring up this dialog box here. Now, this gives me the ability to have as many viewports as I like on the sheet. So if I want to fit multiple drawings on the sheet, it's got some standard ways to see that. So I might have a long section up the top and then a, current, a couple of plans down the bottom. And this is a way that you can plot them all on the one sheet. Uh, really nice way to get that all done. For today, let's just have a look at a single drawing. Uh, OK, we're happy with that. Now it's going to ask you to draw it onto the page. So I'm just doing my rectangle, and that is my viewport. And I can see my drawings all tiny down there at my view extents. I'm going to double click inside there, get it roughly to where I want it to be. And that's fine for now. Double click out of there, and we're finished. So we want to press Control p or Command p for plot, and then we need to change a few things about what's going on in this drawing. So we can see that AutoCAD has automatically sent it to the printer, and it's set it up for A4, and it's done a few other funny things like put it into inches and it's got no pen weights. So we're going to change a few of these things and make sure they're all what they need to be. So we'll start first with the printer. So you can either go to Adobe PDF if you like to or the DWG to PDF. It's totally up to you. So, sorry, or you got your DWG to PDF. Okay, so DWG to PDF is my preferred. So we've got a few things we've got to change still. So the paper size we want to find ISO full bleed A3. Here we go. And we want the 420 by 297. And now we can see here in this little drawing that that's a landscape. That's what we want. We want it to print the layout. We want the scale to be at 1 as to 1. Our units are in millimeters. And we want our pen assignments to be on monochrome. So that's all the settings we need for today. We say apply to layout, and so that's going to apply it to the layout from now on. We don't have to set it up again. Don't worry about clicking OK yet. Clicking OK just saves it uh, as your PDF. For now, let's click cancel and go back to the drawing. So we can see it's definitely changed what's happening on the sheet because now our viewport is this tiny little thing down here. So let's just drag out the size of the viewport, double click inside there again, get it to roughly where we want to be, double click outside, and then we change our scale to 1 is to 200, and happy days, get that nice and tight where you want it to be. Beautiful, that's the one. Okay, so now we're ready to print our drawing. We can press Control P again. That's going to open everything up. And yep, DWG to PDF, monochrome, A3, scale 1 is to 1. Beautiful, that's all happy. Click OK from there. Now we're just going to choose where we want it. I'm going to put it on my desktop for now so I can find it. Plan 09, save. And that, yep, it's all done and it gives us a preview ready to go. So that's it. Nice and simple. That is how you export to PDF, and it's exactly the same principles if you wanted to print off your drawing as well. Uh, a lot of the times we prefer to export to PDF first and then print from Adobe uh, Acrobat. It really depends up to you. So for your submission, though, you'll need to export your DWG to PDF, um, potentially have a look at it in Photoshop and do some other things. That's up to you, uh, but that is how it is all done. 
as we showed before you can make a second viewport if you wanted to so if you wanted to have more than one drawing on there and that was by typing in viewports and there's a few different configurations there if you clicked on one of those and draw it in it would give you three more drawings there and as you can see done and we can get rid of the one behind so that is how you do your plotting if you have any further questions obviously please go on the discussion board otherwise come along to Monday session always happy to do some more tutorial videos for you good luck everyone hope you're having fun with your assignments and we'll see you very shortly cheers guys bye